Well, welcome back. And what we've got here is an oversized EG11 two pipe steam boiler firing away. And that pressure is about uh, 12, 13 inches of water column, which is just a little less than a half a pound. So that's going to start tripping off in a few minutes the longer we keep it running. In the background you can hear the air conditioning running because we're still in the cooling season. You can see the gentle bob of on the sight glass. We're going to do a sight glass test. You can hear the pressure. And you can see that uh, there's still there's a lot of rust in, in this system as this system is fairly old so it's going to have a build up. So we're going to test the low water cutoff and this is how I'd advise doing it. Just open it up. Burner should shut off and then let it refill and hear the burner come back on again. Air to click. You probably want to do this a few times until the water comes out like weak tea. So you want to let it run until it slows down. The burner should shut off. And then turn back on again. Awful lot of stuff in there. second there there was a little burning in the tubes that's something that generally happens when you down fire a boiler um, sometimes you don't get a good ignition in one of the tubes and you know, occasionally burn down in there but in general the 67 is past it as it were and uh, Whenever possible, you want to try to find a tapping that you can uh, thread in a um, probe type low water cutoff like this. Now that's probably a half inch tapping. Um, you're not sure it's under there and then you're not sure you'll be able to get it out. So that, that's a little risky on these older boilers. So one way of doing it is installing this in place of this. You still have to blow it down. There's the uh, blow down. You would tap this into that half inch. You'd run a essentially an equalizer pipe on top and um, you would mount your low water cutoff uh, electronics on the end of this probe like, uh, like a modern boiler. Um, the advantage of it is you don't have a, a float that will hang up um, as uh, I alluded to earlier. The pressure is going up. probably going to trip over in a few minutes. Uh, I don't know how, long, how much patience you all have to, to watch this. Give me a minute. You can see that's really cramming the steam into the system much faster than, than it uh, is being ejected. 
Uh, it's, it's a fairly warm day. Um, let's wait for it. Make a liar out of me. This is definitely a good test. We want to make sure this actually does work. Um, I'm going to start up. Last year, the customer only ran this thing, uh, he said, about eight times. Uh, it was a fairly mild winter. We didn't have a lot of... Uh, so he, didn't, he only blew it down once. And there we go. It just, uh, just shut off. The mercury's on that side now. And you'll see that drop off fairly quickly. And we'll see if it resets. And that will be a, an operational test of the system. It should be good for another year on this boiler, but um, I would uh, definitely advise them to uh, be a little bit more vigilant. Er, just trip back on again. And there we go. So I think, I think we're done. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, oh yeah, I just want to point out, yeah, there's no Hartford loop on this thing, so it's um, <laughs> really imperative that this thing work. So, signing off, and be well.